Today we're jumping into this new game called Vambrace Cold Soul. It may not be new, but it's new to me. <laughs> Alright, this is the place I told you guys about. Looks like the spooks got here first. Was it really worth leaving our regular path to come all the way out here? Yep. We're not patrolling today. Besides, if we don't find more supplies soon, we'll all be in trouble. Have you uh, have you a better suggestion? Biggs and Wedge. I get it. That's a Final Fantasy reference. I'm not the one that will have to tell Celeste we came back empty-handed. <laughs> Shut your pie holes. Who knows what's lurking out about here? Just look around and see if you can find anything useful. All right. Your character can move left and right on the field, so side scrolling game. Got it. The command box on the bottom left displays your interactive options. The command box on the bottom right displays your inventory, bio, codex, and map options. The inventory displays your items your team is carrying. Okay, the maps, the location, we know what maps do. Bio, we know what bios do. Alright, two homies and a girl. Alright, A is to strike, B is to pray, and X is to war cry. A is to strike, battle roar, whirlwind. Flying shuriken, rally, thrust. Okay. You gotta push down to get to the inventory. Got it. And this is the map. Okay. Open it already and keep your guard up. I'm ready. Uh, interaction icons represent a variety of ways you can engage with the environment around you. A red X on the interaction icon means you can neither access the area nor engage with the object. You'll need to hold the interact button to complete your action with certain objects. Oh, that was so interacting. Alright, we can't do anything with that. Found something. It looks like a chest of some sort. Well, what are you waiting for? Okay, here it goes. I can't open it. All oh, mother help me. It's a miracle. I survived this long in the company of fools. <laughs> Just press and hold the button indicated in the tutorial graphic and voila. It's usually a good idea to have someone with a high slight stat in your team to do the dirty work. Scrap metal, wood, okay. Toolbox full of gears, scrap metal, leftover pieces of metal, wood planks used for crafting and burning for warmth, chains, herbal bomb. <laughs> Forget the chest, try checking your inventory and character bios as indicated in the bottom right of the screen. You get the stuff, lady. Okay, they picked it up. Okay, good, good, good. It's freezing out here. You think the spooks are getting close? Did you forget to bring the the geistimer? 
Geister meter again. We should keep going. No use going back the way we came if they are stay put for too long and they'll catch up. Remember, if your health and vigor drops to zero, we'll be the ones spooking this place. Let's go. Man, they're tight. The the worst is so small for me, man. I, I think I might need glasses. Oh, it's a totem. You spring a trap that spreads ephrosonic waves, causing you a strange tension. Health minus two and hand tremors. All right, traps are a dangerous feature of incendiary. The, your party leader or the entire team could incur damage from an activated trap. Characters with a high awareness will warn your party of imminent dangers and allow you to avoid unexpected casualties from traps. Characters with low awareness will trigger traps more easily. Some actions have probability of failure. When you see this green script, it means your attempt was successful. The red script means your action failed and you will incur a penalty. The gray script means you missed and the enemy has evaded your attack. The blue script means you scored the critical and your action's effects have been maximized. Okay. Which one of you is going to tell me if a trap's coming? I just saw something move in the distance. Get your weapons ready and think fast. Oh, y'all want this work? Y'all want these problems? You don't want these problems. You have encountered the hostile enemies. Your team is located on the left and the enemy is team is positioned on the right. Each team has four slots rising in value from the center. The team's character HUDs have slot icons demoting, denoting their space. Okay. The bottom bar displays turn order using the character's HUD slot icons. Okay. Okay. Okay, I only hit one of them. I thought it would hit all three. Move up. Oh, that didn't do anything. That was weak. Yeah, him again. They didn't leave any items behind. I told you guys I had a bad feeling about this place. You're the one that insisted we come out here to begin with. <laughs> By all means, continue quarreling amongst each other, yourselves, if you want. To be ice pops okay i agree let's get out of here it's too much time you're stopping to talk man hmm. are you mad we have no clue who she is she could be with the green flame for all we know she doesn't look like one of them we can't risk comprising compromising Location. Celeste will have our heads. And what if she knows how to cast that strange magic? We don't have to worry about that. She's unconscious, Captain Lanville. She'll decide her fate. Okay. Looks like it's your lucky day, girl. A strange visitor. I once read a man would have to go below the waves to understand the true scale of an iceberg. Reminds me of you, dear father. I confess, I never really knew you. After all, how does one get the measure of a man when there's so much beneath the surface? Nevertheless, I owe my survival of Zumurud's blistering deserts in the wild forests of Sylvia to your training. When I was summoned home to Edina in order to read your last will and testament, I didn't know what to expect. 
I suppose it comes as no surprise. You remained a mystery, even in death. I now find myself beckoned to the Dwarven realm of Darkheim by the encrypted journal and ancient relic he left behind. On an expedition to the cursed city of Isenair for answers you never provided. I shall not be daunted. My determination is equal to the task at hand. If, as you say, this Vambrace is the key to entering that forbidden city, I will find what I seek. My journey has been difficult. Since the Vambrace entered my possession, I have been plagued by unsettling dreams of a ghostly blade cutting me down. Oh, we brought you back to the crib, girl. My head. <laughs> Glad you could join us, Sleeping Beauty. Who are you? Let's make this clear. I'm the one asking questions here. You can start with your name. My name is Lyric. Evila? Ev Evila? How you say it? A Lyric. Your name is Lyric. I'm just what I'm going to call you. I am Lanville Esquire. You're lucky we found you. A moment later and you would... You'd be another piece of frozen decor of grace in the streets. Decor. Frozen decor. I must have fainted. I've never felt a chill like that before. We are unfortunately well acquainted with it here. Celeste had half a mind to leave you up there. Good for you, she's not calling the shots. And I was feeling generous. Up there. So we're underground. Okay. I took the liberty of searching your stuff, a bunch of climbing gear, and a strange book nobody can read. Explain. I came seeking answers about my father, the late Dr. Lyric. I traveled here from Adina with his journal. Right, everybody knows nobody goes in and nobody ever comes out of, of Iceland. That's what I'm going to call it. Iceland, you mean I'm here? I actually made it inside the city. Suppose for a moment I entertain your absurd story. How the hell did you get past the Frostfell? That barrier around the city? I walked through it. Enough of this nonsense. You think I haven't seen what happens when someone touches it? Instant death. The only freaks wandering the surface are either spooks, mad survivors, or the green flame. You're not dead, and as far as I can tell, you're still the same. You're still sane. So let's cut to the let's cut the crap. Okay, he's he's pretty hostile. What's your connection with the green flame? Green what? Green flame, the cult hell bent on destroying the Guardian Alliance. Ring any bells, or have you been living under a rock? They're the ones responsible for this frozen curse. I can assure you that I'm not with them. I just got here. You're serious, aren't you? Well, imagine my surprise to learn that Adini decided to take a leisure stroll on the surface. Listen, I have a matter of great urgency. I'm looking for an individual named Zach Zachward. Do you know him? Hey, there's nothing left for us to discuss right now. But I am feeling gracious today. So tell you what, I'm giving you tentative permission to move about the city. Until I figure out what to do with you, that is. 
Oh, that's the name of our lovely abode deep below Iceland. Welcome to paradise. You're just letting me go? There's nowhere to run, so you best make yourself at home. In fact, take this. You'll need some if you want to survive down here. Oh, you're giving them money too. Hey. We call it Helion, and it's the only currency worth anything down here. Consider it a little welcome gift. I've never seen paper money. Try anything funny and you're dead in a cell or right back on the surface where we found you. Are we clear? Crystal. Alright, so I guess we're playing as her. Hey, he took her in, gave her money, letting her go. Must be because she's cute. I'm vanished. Is there anything to eat down here? You can run while you're in the city. So that's L and right T. Okay. LT, the Codex Eliminus, is separated into two sections, the Codex and the Journal. I'm never going to look at it. Change books to view the journal. It contains details on your current mission and goal. Oh, I guess we do need it. Alright, that's how you run. The captain's finished with you, eh? That was fast. Please wait while I process your paperwork. You're not done yet. How to keep your body warm. Make a fire. Stand in front of the fire. Be warm. <laughs> hmm. Keep your distance from her or you're bound to lose a limb. That's Isabel Salazar. The woman knows black magic. Consider yourself warned. I can't place her, but for some reason she looks so familiar. Okay. The frost run howls around you. Your presence here will bring much anguish. Right. Save your fortunes for someone who wants to hear them, witch. <laughs> Fortune favors those with the wits to heed her call. Don't disappoint. Your paperwork is done. Scram before we change your minds. Okay. I mean, it took you long enough. Oh, we're not side scrolling anymore. Okay. Now they want me to go to that exclamation point. Let's look around. Okay. That's the Guardian's barracks. We're not allowed in there. It's the healing hall. Apologies, Outlander. I cannot permit visitors to pass unless they are injured or have the proper permissions. Alright, well, I'll come back when I'm injured then. The hunter's camp. You are the Outlander Sarge brought down. What are you doing here? Landvill let me go. What was he thinking? You may be free now, but you're still not permitted here. Step away. I'll walk up in here if I want to. I'll fight all of you. And where's this place? Turn back. This is a prohibited area. Hey, where can I go? Is this one place? Did I go down here? Where do you think you're going, Outlander? You'll need Zakwa's permission to come in here. I already had her permission to come in here. All right, we're not allowed in almost any of these places. That looks like a way out of the city. Wait, I haven't tried this one yet. What's here? The library. Who knows what secrets these ancient leather-bound tomes hold? Yeah. Hey, who are you? No time to talk. I'm in the middle of some very important research now. Okay. Who is this old man? The books in his library look ancient. Please do not touch anything in here. These tomes are very delicate. Man, the hell with your tomes. I'll touch anything here I want. What's this? I'm touching it. 
Okay. Huh. Found a couple of pages of the codex. Let's go in the next room over. What's 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 in here? This guy's a real bookworm. Oh, so you live in the library? Huh. Hey, man. I will trade places with you. I'll go live in the library. Yeah, that don't look good. Let's go down. Alright, that way it's blocked off. There's nothing over here. This is the workshop. Are these... I've heard stories about these machines, but I've never seen one up close. Hey, what's up, man? It's like a real tin man. I wonder how it works. I don't know, but I'll take that codex page. I can't tell whether it's broken or resting. <laughs> resting broke face. <laughs> uh, be amazed. There are no other technical marvels like them in this world. Yeah, they're quite remarkable. Did you make these yourself? My name is Volsung, and this is my workshop. Yep, my faithful servants are the handiest. Have you ever met a golem before? Nope. I'm not surprised. The Edini don't have the same knack for engineering we do. No offense, of course. There are a lot of complex tech running around underneath the hood of these ten men. The inside compartment is made of made out of a. Uh... Oh, he just keeps talking. Well, you're quite the handyman. How do they know? How do they work? These superior golems are powered by my special brand of engineering and a bit of uh, magic. They run on enchanted apples. Too bad Talindra, is that how you say her name? Talindra, won't help me anymore. Now if you'll excuse me, I have to, I have work to do. Yeah. They could do some pretty complex tasks. Well, I hope so. Oh, this is my cabinet. Okay. I mean, I don't have anything to put in here, so. Hi, Tim, man. How are you today? I think they understand me, but they don't seem too bright. All right, well, that's the workshop. I see you eyeballing my furnace. She's a real beauty, yes? It doesn't look like a normal dwarven furnace. Kenai is called Sindri. I call it Sindri. Uh, Norse mythology. I know where you're going with this. I can craft anything here ranging from golden parts to my favorite jackalope stew. Jackalope? I'm something of an aspiring craftsman, so I find it to be very interesting. All right. I did not realize I was in the presence of a fellow craftsman. I like to see how your Adini work the blows, the bellows. Feel free to use Sindri when I'm not busy with it. I'm not at your level, but that would be great. You have to find your own materials though. Not enough to go around down here. Just bring what you have here and the golems will help you. Alright, that's awesome. I will bring some stuff time to time. Thanks. In return for all this, I simply want to see your work. Deal? Don't make me regret it, Adini. I feel like Adini might be a bad word. This might be some type of derogatory term they came up with for this game, and they keep calling me that. We're going to have to start fighting. Oh, there's more. Let's check out this exclamation point. What is this? The Foxier Market. You're not permitted to be roaming around here. 
Calm yourself, good sir. This is my dear friend. Do you not recognize her? Another girl, eh? You tricky bastard. <laughs> I still need to check her papers, though. No need to bother. I can personally vouch for her. After all, a friend of mine is a friend of the North Venture Company. All right, all right, go on. Who is this smooth talker? You gonna check my papers to come to a store? What gorgeous eyes this the lady has? Maharam, Maharam, relic hunting extraordinaire at your service. Sorry, but isn't this just a fancy way of saying that you're a thief or of iniquities, antiquities? You offend my sensibilities for such barbed words. I'm merely a humble adventurer who got stuck in the wrong place at the wrong time. Thanks for defending me at the market gate. My name is Lyric. Why did you help me anyway? I have a quick air, my lady. Life here can be difficult for an outlander unfamiliar with our strange ways. Okay. Forgive me, you must be famished. Allow me to take you to the market. Uh, he's helping you out because you look good. It's that simple. Oh. Yay, Saul. Is how you say it? Hello, yay, Saul. This is Lyric, my dear friend since today. <laughs> <laughs> yay, Saul. Huh? That's, pr that's a pretty name. <laughs> how can I help you two today? You have anything to eat? I can pay in gold. You don't use golden hair, my lady. Do you have any helion? Helion. Oh, yeah, it's that paper money. The fox here traditionally burnt it as an offering to our ancestors. It's now the currency of choice for the spooks. You mean this, right? Lanvo gave me some. Show me what you got, man. Don't be overcharging me for nothing either. That's a, ew, a gecko. Savani T. Uh, yeah, let's go with the centipede sticks. Vox syrup. Splint. I mean, that's not food, but I guess I can buy one. Hey, 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 hey. Yeah, you will. And who's this clown? Stop right there. Lady Celeste, all oh, this. <sighs> what brings you to our quiet corner of the city? What are you doing out of prison? Mayhaps there is a misunder. Shut your mouth, clown. <laughs> That's what I would call him. Alright, Matt around. Guards, arrest her. Wait, what? Hey, man, we just got left out of prison. I honestly didn't think you were going to make it when we dumped you in that cell, so she must be the chick from earlier. Celeste, right? Lanville mentioned your team found me. Save the pleasantries. I don't trust you as far as I can throw you. Then why'd you bring her here? Regardless, you have my thanks. You received no charity from me. My team found you on the street. Thought you might be a green flame agent we can interrogate. Good intel is hard to come by nowadays. I understand everyone's suspicious suspicions, but I already told Lanville I have no connection to them. Am I to, am I to believe you just waltzed into Iceland? Ridiculous. Right, I'm gonna try to say the name of the city correctly now. Uh, I'm gonna say Iceland. It's probably Ice Nair. It's how I'm gonna say it from now on. Ice Nair. Anyways, the frost fell surrounding the city kills anything that touches it. 
We have Isabel to thank for the wretched gift that keeps giving. I just saw her in the prison. What does she have to do with all of this? You can stop playing coy. I'm not buying your act, lady. <laughs> if what Lanville said is true, I'm the first person to enter the city in a year. Nobody outside is slight, has the slightest clue of what happens, what's happening here. Want to know what's really happened? We were the fools that got caught in the middle of a civil war. Between who? Tensions between the dwarves and the drift drifters is as old as the city itself. We never imagined Eisner would devolve into total chaos. The green flame had been here stroking tensions for months, if not years. When the time came, they seized the moment and orchestrated a decisive cue. coup. That sounds familiar. And whose name? The King of Shades. <laughs> the King of Shades, that's a dumb name. He curses his place and keeps an iron grip on it. But I'm sure that's no surprise to you. After all, you showed up now. That, that's convenient. Maybe Lanvo believes your little sob story, but you're not fooling me. You got the wrong idea about me. I came here in good faith. Too bad, you're marching right back to that prison cell and you're gonna learn to get real cozy with that witch friend of yours. Ma'am, we have a problem. Can't you see I'm in the middle of something? There's a mad wraith in the city. Okay. I'm gonna need someone to say the name of the city so I can get it. I'm gonna keep saying in the city. What? How is that possible? Is at the ascending room. Please come. Just my luck. Don't think this changes anything. You're coming with me. Could the rumors about the mad race and ice snare be true? Hey, let's go ahead and fight it then. I'll come. I'll come fight some ice snares. I mean, um, some ice race. Everybody, stand back. Oh yeah, I see. He killed some people. Celeste, what's going on here? Captain, it appears some spooks hitched a ride to the city in the ascending room. Who was on duty? We lost two souls here. There are no witnesses as to how they got in, sir. We arrived at the mom uh we arrived a moment too late. Lyric stopped them. Is that so? I guess your theory that she was with the green flame didn't age well. What say you now? We shouldn't jump to any conclusions. I agree. I mean, I'm kind of suspicious of her too. Nonsense. Get these men to the healing hall and be discreet about it. We don't need to cause an unnecessary panic. And post some guards on the surface. Lyric, meet me in the war room at the Guardian's bar barracks. There's someone who would like a word with you. Oh, you mean the barracks that I got kicked out of? That's Let's go down south first. Forget that clown. What's that? What's this? Uh, for a minute, I thought they said the Nazi camp. I was like, what the hell kind of game am I playing? <laughs> Step back, Outlander. The Nazi, the Naziria, the Nazi. Have heard whispers of your arrival here. Just because you've been released doesn't mean you can freely wander here. Okay. Y'all gonna stop disrespecting me, man. Right? Treat me bad. This is treating her all kinds of bad, man. Here I am. Oh, what's that? I'll take that. Lambo said you. Come, they're waiting for you. Please proceed. Okay, I was supposed to go this way. Let's go check out the other stuff first. What's in here? There's a lot of codex pages hanging around this city.
Alright, I can't go out that way yet. There are a lot of codex pages hanging around. Hey, who are you? We have a brook we have brokered a tensious truce between the crown loyalists and the drifters. This place feels like it's about to There we go. My computer's being very helpful today. This place feels like it's about to explode. My computer is being so helpful, you know. It's just interrupting me while I'm trying to read. Uh, I can't go in there. This chamber belongs to our leader, Commander Zakwad. Zakward. It's a dumb name. I bet you he's a clown. Yeah, I don't really care what the rest of you have to say. Your leader has a dumb name. Hey, you see me walking up to you? You better stand still. The guardians are composed of soldiers recruited from across the fire realms, the five realms, and free cities of Ethra. Eth, Ethra. That's how I'm gonna say it. Our efforts have ushered in a new era of peace over the world. Okay. Our priority now is to stop the Shade King. We need to find a safe way to evacuate the survivors from Icenir. Unfortunately, our inability to bypass the Frostfell has stifled our efforts. Well, the Frostfell has kept you trapped here for the entire time. This entire time. It's an enchanted barrier surrounding Icenir. Anyone who touches it is instantly frozen to death. Frost fences are getting erected inside the city too. This is the city map. Looks like the guardians have profiled the most important people of the city. A new frost fence has cut off access to the supplies we need at the Ghost Bazaar. The situation is dire, so we're still trying to keep this under wraps. The last thing we need is a panic. We'll have to consult. Balthazar, okay, I know Balthazar, to find another route through. He always manages to find something. Uh, you're the one I'm supposed to talk to. Let's see who else is in here. No one? Yes. I don't know how it happened, sir, but we're making every effort. Larry, glad you can join us. I'd like to introduce you to our esteemed leader, Zakward Vin Ventrum. Ventrum, that's how I'm gonna say that. Don't ever make me say his last name again. I set out and searched for you months ago. I can hardly believe you're standing here now. Oh, please excuse me. Apologies for my interrupting. I'm just pleased to make your acquaintance, sir. Please call me Zakward. The captain just informed me of your unusual arrival. I have a lot of questions, but they'll have to wait. Yes, I'm sorry to cut this introduction short, but we have an ongoing situation. Isabel Salazar escaped her cell and left the city. She murdered our guards and allowed a mad wraith into the city, putting many lives at risk. I saw her briefly while having my paperwork done. She even spoke to me as I was leaving. She hasn't spoken in a year. Okay. Do you remember what she said? Yeah, I remember what she said. What? I didn't pay much heed to her at the time. Who is she? That which is one of the Shade King's primary, prime lieutenants. If she gets away, she will compromise the city's location. If that happens, nothing will save us. And forgive me for asking, but why aren't you pursuing her right now? That's a good question. Why aren't we pursuing her right now? We tried. We were unable to follow her through the frost fence though. She used her magic to bypass it. Frost fence. Their smaller barriers conjured from the same magic as the frost fell. 
The green flame uses them to limit our access to certain sectors of ice near. They too are deadly to touch. Okay. But that wouldn't be an issue for you, would it, Lyric? Sir? It's true. I walked through the Frostfell. I could do so through the power of the va this Vambrace. But you already knew that, didn't you? How did you come into possession of this artifact? My late father left it to me. His final letter bid me to seek you out in this cursed place. This Vambrace, he said, was the key to coming here. It allowed me to bypass the Frostfell harmlessly. But your father happened to be the esteemed Dr. Lyric. Yep. One and the same. How could you possibly know that? He is a renowned scholar and his research to the to the Archons, Archons, whatever, is unsurpassed. I am well versed in his works, okay? Now, before me stands a woman bearing his namesake and carrying a relic of the Archonic design. Even I connect the dots. Yeah, he recognizes it. Man. It's called the Aether Brace. A powerful relic indeed. I'm not sure Lyric realizes the value of what she possesses. If all you if all you say is true, then she should give it to us. We could use it to turn the tide against the King of Shades. It's not that simple. I can't remove it. I tried everything short of cutting my own arm cutting off my arm. Uh, it's stuck on the body, huh? You seek answers, I'm willing to help you, but our priority now is finding Isabel. Would you be willing to lead a party past the Frostfence to find her? This isn't my first tracking mission. I'll help, but when I come back, we need to talk. You'll need a place to prepare before deploying. Take this scroll of consent and tell Haga, Helga at the Lost Lady Inn I sent you. Show make sure you have a space. My scouts informed me Isabel was moving north toward the entertainment district. We will send some guardians with you to the surface to help, of course. If you're looking for cell swords, you might have some luck at the recruitment board. In the meantime, I'll make sure the ascending room is set for your next destination. Also, now you guys want to welcome me into the city. After you told me I can't go anywhere. I mean, it's it's an interesting game so far. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna say it's bad. I mean, <clears throat> who are you talking to? Uh... I'm pretty busy right now, and I'll keep it brief. I'm Maro Han, the acting director of the North Venture Company in the city. I heard rumor Landville was assembling the expedition to the entertainment district. Is that true? Word travels fast around here. There are a few activities to while away the hours. There are few activities to while away the hours in the city, and the gift of gab has always been my specialty. Well, your sources were right, but the original expedition was canceled, and I'm leading the new one myself. Then I have a special request. There's an item of great importance to me in the entertainment district. The merchant, Manduke, is currently in possession of it. What is this item and who is Mandu? Max, you know what? It's a good question. A golden seal called the Saki Akse. It is granted by the, the Emperor and confers legitimacy to its owner to conduct business on behalf of the North Venture Company in the city. Manduk was the company's former chief. This doesn't seem like something worth risking lives over. <laughs> Risk brings reward, fetch me the seal, and I'll ensure you get the finest deals in the city. You'll need my help if you're planning regular expeditions to the surface. Alright, I'll keep an eye out for it, but I'm not making any promises. The merchant's fate has already been sealed. It is of little use to her now, but it is priceless to me. I'll be seeing you around. Make sure you leave a like, uh, comment, and subscribe. And uh, you'll see the future releases of this, this game and other games coming to the channel. Thanks for watching, guys.